to be or not to be? That is the fucking question. Whether there's noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing and then to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say where in the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is head to. It's a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep or chance to dream. <laughs> uh, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who will bear the whips and scones of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of this pirate love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworldly takes, when he himself may his quietus make with the bad bodkin. Who, who will fairless bear to ground and sweat under a worldly life, but that the treath of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose burned, no travellers return, puzzles the will, and make us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. This consciousness doth make cowards of us all. And those the native hue of resolution is slickly o'er with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard, the current turns awry and lose the name of action.